Well, this test is complete. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This right here is the Makita EA5600 Blue Top, as I'm calling it, because this is the second one that I've made. And I messed up on the ports a little bit, but we're going to run it and see how it does. I've got the uh, exhaust set at 102, and I have the transfers coming on at 115. It was a mistake, but I went ahead and rolled with it. We're going to see how it does. I've got uh, 81 on the intake, and I have not touched the timing at all. I also haven't tuned it. Got my screwdriver right here, and we'll see how it does. Did a nice muffler mod. You see that right there? That's three quarter inch. EMT coming out of it. I took the muffler apart, heated it up and bent the seams over uh, and uh, then gutted everything out of it, put a three quarter inch pipe on it. So it seems to be running pretty good. I guess we just go ahead and put it in the wood and see what's going on.
Well, this test is complete. <laughs> yeah. That sucks. That chain's probably runt. Touch the concrete and everything. Damn. I don't know. We'll have to see. I need to be more careful. Somebody just mentioned. Made a comment that I wasn't wearing any safety gear. I'll fool with it later. What do I think about the port job? Definitely feel like I lost a little bit of uh, torque. And that sucks. Didn't want to do that. But that's what happens whenever you make mistakes, right? We all make mistakes from time to time. And I definitely made one on this. I did not mean to go 115 on the transfers. Um, 124 or 122 was where I think that it would be good. But it was cutting there in the wood, um, in the meat of it. We was looking at about 10,000 RPMs, which is okay, but um, I think there's more in it. And lucky for me, I have another cylinder that I can actually mess around with and hopefully get more power out of it. The muffler mod's a dream. It's like spot on. I'm really happy with it. I've gotten a lot better at uh, brazing. But um, yeah, hopefully that chain's not too rocked up. But uh, we'll see. Only one way to find out, and that's to take it apart and look at it. Cutting wise, it did okay. However, I think that this saw, even though it's only 56 cc's, the characteristics of it, if it was right, it lends itself really well to a 24 inch bar. Um, I think, anyways. So, the top cover, am I happy with it? Uh, I don't know, it's different, that's for sure. Um, not gonna see many of those. I'll be able to pick it out in the crowd, if you know what I mean. All, all it is is uh, painted. I really um, prepped the surface of this uh, top really, really well. Cleaned it up really, 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 really well. Got all the oil and grime off of it. And then I scuffed it up with some Scotch-Brite. And then I just painted it with uh, the paint. I know somebody's gonna be interested. The paint is bare. B-E-H-R, you know, I think they sell that at Home Depot, maybe at Lowe's too, I don't know. But it's a bare paint and it's a premium spray can paint. And the color is called Tropics. It's just, I, it was the closest thing that I could find to Makita Blue. And I thought it would look cool with the orange and blue. See, there's this thing called a color wheel right? If you're not familiar with it, just type in color wheel on the old Google. Something will pop up for you. And whenever you see opposing colors, colors on the other side of the spectrum, they tend to actually work really well together. And on the other side of the spectrum from this shade of orange is somewhere close to this shade of blue, if I remember correctly. Um, uh, but like that's definitely the case with the Poland neon green and... Uh, neon purple colors they're on opposite sides of the expect on the spectrum and they look so good together anyways sucks that i threw that chain but you know what we're good to go and more testing to be done on this saw more port work to be done on this saw because i think definitely i mean it feels good but not quite good enough it should run better than that and so i'll go back into it with a different cylinder actually and uh Give that a shot.